Balake. Where is Balake at? My name's Blake. Do you want to go to war, Balake? I'm for real. A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron is present, everyone. Welcome back for a little bit more SPTV where every day is a great day not to be in a cult. Guys, this is just a quick last minute live stream. By the way, at the end of the stream, I'm going to redirect to uh, Mark and Claire Headley's live stream that starts in about 13 minutes. Uh, I want to talk to you about Scientology official Gavino Ida being officially implicated in witness intimidation, witness tampering, obstruction of justice in the Danny Masterson case. I have, I'm going to play for you here about a 90 second audio recording that um, Scientology spy Eric Geisler was recorded um, on a pretext call by one of the potential uh, witnesses in the Danny Masterson trial, a witness who was never actually called to testify, not in the first trial, not in the second trial. Um, and that, uh, that witness is, is sci then Scientologist, now former Scientologist, Damian Perkins. As a part of the LAPD investigation into all of this, once Damian informed the LAPD that he was being threatened by the Church of Scientology, uh, via Eric Geisler, that the Office of Special Affairs had Eric Geisler call him and essentially threaten him. Um, Damien was asked to record a phone call with Eric, uh, get, getting this on tape. And not only did Damien successfully record Eric without, without his knowledge, but he got Eric to name Gavino Ida in the Office of Special Affairs International under the Church of Scientology International as the person who asked Eric Geisler to call Damien and essentially threatened to release the Kraken if Damien was going to cooperate in testifying in, in the Danny Masterson um, matter. So let me pull this up here. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Uh, Eric Geisler's audio quality on this is pretty poor, and I haven't put subtitles in on this, but I'm going to uh, briefly interject and say, uh, help explain what's being said. So here we go. So hey, I had a quick question, then I wanna, I wanna ask you kind of what's, what's going on. I've been kind of on edge since that whole, and Sosa told you to call me, and what do you think they meant when they said they would release the Kraken? Like what? What am I looking at here? Because this thing is still moving forward. I wouldn't really worry about it because it's not, it's not going to come back to you. He said, I wouldn't really worry about it because it's not going to come back to you. Uh, right. But if it ends up going to trial, like, you know, what are they going right. to do to silence me? You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's just intimidation factor. Yeah. yeah, no, I get the intimidation. I think he said, I don't really know the normal, the normal intimidation tactics. Intimidation factor, but if, if it ends up becoming real and if we end up going to trial, you know, he ends up going to trial, I mean, and then I get called, you know, on the stand, like, what does it mean? <laughs> release the crash. You, you, you know them better than I do, Eric. All I would say is cross that bridge when we get to it. I don't think it'll ever get there. He said, all I'm going to say is let's cross that bridge when we get to it. I don't think it'll ever get there. Bro, can you be willing? We've, we've been lifelong friends, bro. Like, who was it from? Yeah. I mean, is there, you know, I know a couple of people there when I was there, but who was it? Um, Gavino Ida. Ida? Yeah. Gavino Ida is the same. Gavino Ida. It's all good, bro. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Well, it does to me, bro, because, you know, I've already had some funky things happen and being a witness in a federal case and then being told by OSA, hey, if you speak up, we're going to release a fucking Kraken isn't, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what am I supposed to do with that? OK, well, there you go. That's Scientology spy Eric Geisler um, pointing the finger at Gavino Ida as being the person in OSA Int who asked Eric to contact Damien and find out where Damien stood on everything. Um, now, later in that recording, Eric goes, uh, they're not the ones who said they were going to release the Kraken. Uh, it was th that was those were my words. I'm the one who said Osa would release the Kraken. And so anyway, make of that what you will. But now I will share with you a little bit about Gavino Ida, a well-known gentleman up at the Office of Special Affairs International. Um, I could be mistaken. I believe his wife is Gloria Ida and his daughter is Marta Ida. Um, all of whom worked uh, for the Office of Special Affairs International. And I think Marta actually went up, up lines um, to international management later on. But you'll see Gavino Ida is no stranger to the internet. In fact, his job at OSA Int was running uh, the Invest unit, which included the internet unit. 
So uh, Gavina, let's see just some of the stuff here. This is from the website, well, cs.cmu.edu. Gavino Ida, Scientology's internet terrorist. A member of Scientology's Sea Organization and its infamous Office of Special Affairs is waging a war against free speech on the internet when that speech concerns Scientology. As detailed on Tori Chrisman's website, Ida has been involved in numerous plots to shut down discussion on the alt.religion.scientology news group, including flooding the news group with massive amounts of gibberish in order to drown out discussion. Okay. Flooding the news group with massive amounts of pro-Scientology boilerplate, much of it taken from the What is Scientology book. All right. Forging the names of Scientology critics to offensive racist posts that were then cross-posted to other news groups. Flooding the news group with off-topic anti-psychiatry posts. Doing all of the above from accounts opened under stolen names and addresses with fake phone numbers. Okay. Posting libelous personal attacks on Scientology critics. Um, the second photo at left appeared in Impact, which is a Scientology publication. Okay. So that's probably that one right there. Um. Okay, yeah, we don't have any recent photos of Ida. This is from 2004. You can see that is a strange photograph right there. That is a strange photograph. How did someone capture that photo? Ida seems to be an extraordinarily small gentleman. Um, yeah. So Ida's job is usually to try and create as many problems as possible for former Scientologists on the internet. But in this case, he was directly involved in witness intimidation, witness tampering in the Danny Masterson case. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the many reasons Scientology has um, shown, demonstrated such a high level of involvement in the Danny Masterson case. Because Scientology's dirty little fingers, their own Sea Org members, dirty little fingers are all over it. Scientology is trying to protect itself and its own interests. It doesn't actually care about Danny Masterson. It has to kind of protect Danny a little bit in order to protect itself. I'm sure Scientology would rather Danny Masterson would just quietly disappear and save Scientology an awful lot of trouble. But um, all right, you guys, that's uh, just a short one. Nothing extra. Nothing extra special on this one. Uh, clearly, the notifications did not go out. <laughs> and that's okay. This was just a, la a last minute thing. So, um, all right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thanks to everyone who watches until the very end. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, if you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see an, a different one of my videos, uh, oh, yeah, then you could click right in right here. If you have subscribed or not, subscribe right here. Bye!